So Ben Affleck shut down production of a movie for several days because he refused to wear a Yankees hat. Ben Affleck sucks. Yeah. So in the movie Gone Girl, a husband and his wife move from New York City where they'd been living back to the husband's hometown in Missouri. Uh, the titular Gone Girl goes missing and Ben Affleck's character, the husband, becomes a suspect in the case. It's really big news, his face is all over TV and stuff. And so there's this scene where he's in an airport. He doesn't want to be noticed by paparazzi or anything. So he has a baseball cap and he like pulls it down over his face. David Fincher wanted the character to wear a Yankees hat. Ben Affleck, famously a big Red Sox fan, refused to wear a Yankees hat. And this apparently became a huge fight where Fincher was like, just wear the Yankees hat, it's important to the character. And Ben Affleck was like, in real life, I'm a Red Sox fan. And David Fincher was probably like, this isn't real life, you're a fucking actor, do your job. And Ben Affleck was like, I'm extremely rich, I don't have to listen to you. And they went back and forth. And I don't know if he's exaggerating, but I think in the DVD commentary, Fincher said the fight went on for four days. For four days? For four days, grown men. Over a hat? Over a hat. And production just came to a standstill. Yep. That's so cool of him. <laughs> you guys are both big fans of teams. Like, Joe, I think of you as a, the biggest Falcons yeah. fan I know. And, Mike, you're wearing a Yankees hat right now. <laughs> yep. And I know you hate the Red Sox. Yep. So, like, what would it take? You guys are adults. What would it take for you to wear the garb of, of an opposing team? I would hate to wear a Red Sox hat. But I would do it for, like, $8. Eight dollars? Yeah. You, if you... I don't know if I... Uh, can you... Do you have change for 20? I do, I'm not, I'll give sorry. you 20 bucks. I'll give you 20 bucks. <laughs> it has to be exactly $8. 20 bucks. This is for Ben. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> See? It's not that hard, Ben. Yeah, I did it for $20. I did it for $20. The other thing to me is, like, Ben Affleck... It, is, like all of us, a grown adult person. I can kind of see this being a real bugaboo if you're a little kid. I, I don't know, man. I was, a, I was a pretty shit kid when it came to <laughs> fandom. I remember first Super Bowl, Falcons were getting tossed by the Broncos, right? Yeah. Everybody's in their Falcons gear. I'm in my like Falcons jersey. I run to my room, find the brightest orange shirt that I possibly could, right? <laughs> I throw that shit on, I come back run to the den or living room, and I'm like, let's go Broncos! <laughs> and then my whole family's looking at me like, and I hate you. <laughs> and you wouldn't so do much. that now? No, would not do that now. I came maybe like 13, 12 or 13, and I was like, okay, I recognize what I did was a big asshole move, and I will not do that ever again. What if you were getting paid $10 million? Then yes, <laughs> then I would do that. So he gets paid millions of dollars, right, to act. It's a profession, like it's a right. thing that you do to pretend and he's probably done way worse things or w things that like more compromise his morals or what he would normally do. Yeah, he in read real the Daredevil life. script. Exactly. <laughs> and, and still like, did the movie. And still did the movie. And didn't it, it, he showed his dick in Gone Girl? He did. Like he that did. Was, that's the line he drew. He was just like, Yankee hat, no. My dick, yeah, sure, whatever. I feel like he's doing it just so like everyone's uncle that's at the bar in downtown Boston at like three o'clock in the afternoon can talk about it. Like, oh, oh dude, the biggest fan, Ben Affleck, he wouldn't, he shut down a David Fincher production. I don't know if that was the right accent or <laughs> I've never been there. That sounds about right. <laughs> I still remember, like, when he decided to ruin the Batman franchise. And then, like, he was in an interview with Henry Cavill, and there's, like, that video clip where you just zoom in on, like, the sadness in his eyes. And it's like, yes, Ben. No one liked you as Batman. <laughs> and now we have like a visual proof that it actually hurts you that you f***ed it up. Well, that's interesting because I think what he had in mind in not wearing a Yankees hat is that he didn't want to be a meme. Mm -hmm. Well, isn't he like, like, yeah, he's meme multiple times now. Has he not seen that f***ing back tattoo that he has? <laughs> <laughs> the, the one where a phoenix is literally rising from his asshole? What was the final resolution of this weird problem? Oh, that's, a good, that's important, actually. So if you think of the alternatives, like, he's not going to wear a Red Sox hat. That doesn't make sense. It's a family that moved from New York to Missouri. At what point would he have picked up a Red Sox hat? Just a generic hat would be kind of weird. Mm -hmm. So the compromise that got Gone Girl production back on track was he wore a Mets hat. I think 
that David Fincher was trying to do something very specific by having this character who in the movie is kind of an asshole. He's cheating on his wife. He's like this big shot. To have him wear a Yankees hat when he's trying to conceal his face in the airport, I think is a trait. A, a Mets hat says something completely different. So all Mets fans are descendants of Brooklyn Dodgers fans. No <laughs> one moves to New York and adopts the Mets. There's no one, there's no one new that's been added to that fan base since then. It, I mean, it's just basically passed on. It's like a gene, like a, a really bad gene. You should have just gave him like a NYPD hat or something. Though. Yeah, like become a, a cop fan. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> or like a plain blue, like <laughs> Navy hat. Yeah. He is under investigation for the possible murder of his wife in the movie. Uh, okay. So I, like... Then he can blend in. Yeah. <laughs> he can blend in with the cops. Would a guilty man wear this hat? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But aren't all cops... All, all cop, undercover cops, I feel like, wear Yankees hats, right? The Yankees hat is the most undercover cop hat. I used to work in Yellowstone, and they employ a lot of people that are, like, running from the law, kind of. <laughs> okay. So I was hanging out with Thanks. some people, like, in the woods, and I actually, I was wearing a Yankee hat. I don't know if it was this one or not. And I convinced one of the guys that I was an undercover cop, like, I was hinting at it. Okay. And I, one of the things that I used to convince him, I was like, every undercover cop wears a Yankees hat. Because I was trying to make him like feel uncomfortable. And like that was the part that he was like, maybe he's not joking. Like that was the one that, <laughs> now it's real. He is wearing a Yankee hat. Maybe he is a cop. You're kind of mean. That's what I've heard. Thanks for watching. If you want to watch something else that'll make you say, oh, that's weird, then click over here. And if you want to see some Red Sox Yankees beef, check out this episode of Beef History.